Hey guys, Eric here with Project DIY. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some electrical stuff. We're not wiring anything up, but we're just going to be talking about some different ways to hook the wiring together. But if you don't feel comfortable with electrical, don't do it. It can obviously hurt you very badly, catch things on fire, do a lot of bad things if you don't know what you're doing. But this is going to be a good discussion, uh, probably a debatable discussion for many that watch this, but that's fine. Just to, you know, if you have a comment, leave it in the sections below and we'll talk about it. I'll respond to everybody as best I can. If you have something you want to say about it or you have feedback on, maybe some situations you've saw these different things have used, whether you've liked it or not liked it, shoot us a comment below and we'll get back to you guys. So you're wondering what in the world are we talking about? Well, we're up here in the, the top of the barn here, the man cave to be. There, I've got several spots here. Well, look, I got three wires here coming in, okay? And you gotta try to wire that stuff together. Obviously old school, you got your wire nuts, okay? Several different sizes of wire nuts. I got a bunch of different sizes here. Let's look at what we got. Like de several different sizes. You got this blue is one of the biggest. It, it will hold several. And you got this green, red, orange, and white, or I'm sorry, gray. The grays almost feel like a little bitty, the hair wire, just a single wire. So this is old school, okay? And there's nothing wrong with it. They still work well. But in my opinion, I don't like using these as as I have to. Now, some still say it's the best way. Maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. I'm not gonna sit and argue with you. If that's what you still like to use, have at it, knock yourself out. But I'm gonna show you what I think is a game changer for especially DIYers and people that may not be fully licensed. And for people maybe that don't do this all the time, here's, let me show you guys what I like using. So this is what I've used these are on the lights that I installed in here. I'm gonna have that video up here soon. And there's actually another video on these that I had already put out. So this has four slots, it's just an insert. You have it, you push your, uh, you'll see at the very top of it there, you push your wire all the way to the end of it and it grabs it. So you just take it, push it in, you pop all these in. So what you do, you would splice these, push it in and you're ready to go. Your next one that's similar is this style okay so it's got these little tabs i have them all lifted up so it sits like this and if you want to insert a wire in this hole you just lift it push the wire in make sure it's seated up here where it's supposed to be so you hold it up in there push that down and it holds the wire in there that to me is so much easier to make sure you get a good connection because when you only have a couple wires with the wire nuts okay like this here when you only have a couple wires it's not too bad you take them together, you get them the same length, you take you some, some sort of pliers, whatever, you twist it together, you get a pretty good connection. But from my experience, because I've had several junction boxes when I redid the house, even up in here, there was times I was gonna have four or five wires trying to get it all together at one time and then try to twist that and make sure that they all actually intertwined really well so you get a good connection and then put the wire nut on it is to me a bit of a chore. And that's in my opinion. So, when you get this here, you have you up to four with this one. This one's up to five different wires. If you want to see how I'm doing that with these, go check out the other video. I'm gonna put a video out showing just how I wire up this here, this scenario here, where I have three wires and I'm actually making it four because I'm basically running a pigtail off of the outlet where it plugs into this, which makes everything so much easier instead of having, because if not, I have four wires. I gotta try to get four whites together for whatever, uh, four blacks, four grounds, and you gotta do that three times, or four, yeah, three times, try to get it all together, get it twisted, it's a nightmare. This here, I can take it, pop them all in, I'm done in a matter of minutes. It's just so much easier, your connection's good. Like I said, that that's that's my opinion. Now, some there might be some old school guys, that, and I've read some different people, I've heard good, bad, and the ugly about these. I've never had any bad experiences but that's honestly about with everything. You can read one product and some reviews on things and somebody will say it's the worst thing ever made and somebody else will be it's the best thing ever made. So this is just a video I wanted to show you guys what I'm using, what I think is a very good DIY material here. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get these. These are both made by Ideal is the, the brand. I'll put a link in the description where you can find these and they make them. I do not know, I know this is a five. I do not know how big they get. I honestly don't. You can do some research on that and see. I don't know if they go any bigger than five, but I only have one spot in here. I'm gonna need five, so that's why I bought one of these. The four has been, and I already had these. These are the uh, the four piece. Now, I will say, 
this one actually is probably the easiest because this one here sometimes it is a little tough sometimes to get them pushed in there which is not bad if it is a little tough i just grab my wire strippers grab the end of it and then push it in there and it'll go up the rest of the way but this one here you just flip it open flip it open like that you push it in and snap it back down i mean it can't get any easier than that so Guys, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. Maybe that's looking into doing uh, some electrical. You got some of this coming up and you got multiple wires, maybe more than two to come together. That, uh, like I said, it makes it a little complicated. Make sure they get all twisted together. Check the, go check the link description out in the link below. Check these out, give them a try. You might be surprised how well you really like them, how much easier and quicker it makes things. The quick, it's like a quick connect. I mean, it, it makes life so much easier. So guys, go check this out. Appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Watch the videos, share the videos, and remember as always, why hire a guy when you can DIY. Thanks for watching.